Hey gang, Kevin Harmon here at Mount Music Exchange, and this is your second episode of Can We Stump Jay? Oh yeah. We got a little trivia for him today, so let's just jump right in. Are you ready, Jay? I am ready. First question. In 1963, Charlie Watts joined the Rolling Stones. Yes, sir. What was the band that he left? Do you not know that? I do not know that. Oh my god. It gosh. was a jazz band. <laughs> was it? Oh, oh, oh. Yes! <laughs> it was Blues oh, no. Incorporated. Blues Incorporated. I should have. And How have could you not that. know that one? <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. All right. 1970, Led Zeppelin played at Royal, I can't say that word, Royal Albert Hall on Paige's birthday. Who was in the audience famous? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I feel like these are easy, Dave. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who was in the audience at a Led Zeppelin show? <laughs> <laughs> famous. Famous. Keith Moon. Nope. It was Lennon, Clapton, and Beck. Clapton was uh, on the radar button. All right. Wow. Two. <laughs> two. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. 1976, Queen was number one with what single? Somebody to Love. Oh, no. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait. Oh, he mean rap. Yes. <laughs> I'm such a dunce. <laughs> We've really got him today, guys. Really got him. In 1980, Pink Floyd had their first and only number one hit. Do you know what that was? Another Brick in the Wall, part two. That is it. Oh! That is it. We've stumped him today. <laughs> today was a bad day. <laughs> so, one out of four. One out of four. All right. Soon we're going to have uh, people competing against Jay, and we'll see uh, who, can, uh, who can stump Jay. The challenge is on. Thank you, guys. <laughs>